Welcome back. In this video, we should be able to get the camera working along with putting in some other colliders so that the, you know, our little virus cleaner doesn't go flying off the screen and doesn't uh, go into the coffee cup and a few other things. So let's take a look at the camera first. So at the moment the camera is static. It would be good if the virus or the camera could follow the virus killer uh, around the scene. So we're going to create a new script here and I'm going to just hit create. C sharp script and we'll call it uh, camera controller camera controller and the idea here is that a very simple one is that it will measure the distance from the virus at the moment and then just maintain that distance as it moves through so we've got our camera controller script doo -doo -doo. and what we're going to do is uh, create a variable again which is going to be a vector. We'll go for a vector three here um, because we do have the height away from it. Just makes it easier. Uh, and we'll to call this the offset. And so we're gonna measure the offset and we're gonna measure the offset between the camera and the player. So we know, need to know who the player is. So I'm gonna set that game object and I'm gonna call it player. And call it virus killer or whatever. Um, as long as you're consistent here. What we're going to do is in the start, we're going to find the player in the game. So player is going to be the game object and we're going to use the find and we can put the name in there. So I just forgot the name. So I'm just going to pick a little quick peek virus killer. So small V capital K it needs to be spelled exactly right. Virus killer. There we go. So now that we've got that there, that's good. It's going to be able to find the virus killer. The other thing that we need to do is measure that offset. Notice we had to find the player first before we could measure the offset. Um, and what we're going to do is do, 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 basically take our, well, I'll say game object. That's our camera dot transform because the script's going to be on the camera dot position. So we're going to grab the transform and the position. So let me just show you that. So what we're doing, this is on the camera, the camera has a transform component and we're grabbing the position. We're using a, vir uh, sorry, a vector 3 because it has the x, y, and z coordinates. It's got all three coordinates on there, so we'll use those. I'm going to go back here and we're going to subtract the player's position. So the player obviously also has a transform and also has a position. Good. So it's going to measure that difference. All right, and then what we're going to do is in the update, and because we're not dealing with physics, we don't have to worry about being fixed update. What we're going to do is we're going to set the camera's position. Oops, sorry, position. Well, what did I do here? Sorry, game object dot transform dot position, and we're going to set that to the player's position. plus the offset. So we're always going to maintain that distance. Okay, so wherever the player is, it's going to be the player's position plus that original offset. So the camera is always going to be the same distance away. So just hit the save here. Come back to Unity. Now we don't have that script yet on the camera. So you've got to drag it on. So that was, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> So main camera, camera controller, throw it on there, and let's just see what happens. So hit play, and hopefully as we move, aha, so the camera, and you can see that in the scene window above, the camera is following wherever the virus goes. Now we might want to move the virus so it was center or whatever the case is, it's up to you, but uh, the idea now is that we can move around. Of course, there is a bit of a problem. We can go right over the glasses and we can go right out of the scene. Mm, not the best, maybe. So let's fix that up next. So what I'm going to do is create um, a series of colliders. And you could put it on the background. I find that because we're going to put a, quite a few colliders here, it's probably a good idea just to create a sort of a colliders um, um, game object. So what I'm going to do is create a empty okay and it's going to be called game object at the moment i'm going to change that and call this um, colliders 
because it's just going to be a collection of our colliders here. What I'm also going to do is make sure I reset this to 000. Okay, generally any empties you put on should be set to 000. What we're going to do is add a series of, I think, mostly polygon colliders here. So I'm going to add a component and I'm going to add physics 2D and there's something called a polygon collider. Now I'm going to add a bunch of these and uh, I'm not going to show you all of them. I'll just show you one and then I'll go ahead and do it and then uh, pop back into the video here. So click on polygon collider and what you'll notice is it's this little polygon. Okay, now we have to move it around. So there's this edit polygon here and you can see that we've got these little stars or little uh, angles here. I'm going to grab it. We'll do the computer up here. I'm just going to sort of grab around and I can grab these corners. So I'm just going to put this one over here. I guess I could have probably gone like a box collider or something for this one, but this that's fine. The shape's pretty regular. Maybe this over here. And yeah, like in the end, maybe a box collider would be fine, but that's, that's good. Okay. So what I've, whoops, uh, I should have zoomed out. I'm just going to move this corner over here, this corner over here, because we just want to make sure that the player will not be able to get onto the keyboard if that's what you want. Okay. So let's just hit play here. And as I move now, you can see I can't get onto the keyboard. Okay. Now I'm going to do that for the rest of these objects. Um, for the coffee cup, I'm probably going to do a circle collider because it's circular in shape, but definitely a polygon collider here and maybe a polygon collider so I can just go around here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. You can do that as well. Just pause it here. So just to show you here what I've done, I've put a um, polygon colliders, obviously around the computer, which I talked about already, around uh, this guy here, the pen and the notebook, and then the glasses as well. If you zoom in there, you can kind of see I've gone around. That polygon collider is really flexible, and then also around that coffee cup. Now, I've got that option as well. Yeah, I just sort of did that at the moment. I might want to change that after. Up to you. Now, the other thing that I would do is make sure you put sort of some box colliders along the edges here so that you can't leave the desktop. So I'll just do that right now. So once you've got those in, so I just put some box colliders along the sides to fill in those gaps, you might want to play test just to double check that all those colliders are working. So, you know, I'm just, I'm not looking. So that looks good. It hits the keyboard, right? And that seems to be working fine. Okay, just make sure there's no way to sort of slip through. Now, there is that problem with that color at the bottom. Um, the blue doesn't look all that great, so we'll fix that up here, and then we'll end this part of the video. So, yeah, looking good. That blue, um, you might have noticed it here on the camera, it has the background. There's probably not a perfect color that could work here. Um, you know, you might want to put other artwork or something below, but um, easiest thing maybe is just to make it black. So I'm just going to come over here on our camera, set that to black. So now that's a solid color with the black. I think it will look better. So if I come over here, play it again, and then just say go down to the bottom. You know, it's got that black edge. Ah, not perfect, but it definitely looks better, I think, than that blue. Good. So what do we need to do next? Well, it would be nice if... Um, we could have more of these. So I think that's what we'll do next. We will just create some, uh, what's called a prefab of that. And then we'll also get um, to start keeping score. Okay, so we'll do that in the next video.